Welcome back to Fern Feather Outdoors. Today we are in my first food plot I ever made. We recently moved into this new house. It's got some acreage behind it and uh, there's quite a few deer out here and uh, it's really kind of a perfect place to set up a food plot and this is kind of where a lot of the deer come to and it was kind of a good spot for rifle hunting and taking anybody that wants to out here and also be able to check up on here real close to the house without spooking anything and hopefully feeding a few deer so uh, with this we did kind of a no-till situation on this plot in particular we um, we did move a little soil I have a groundhog max that I ran through here mainly to kill the grass the hay you see behind me um, it was really tall and thick and that actually helped kill the grass a lot it did, really didn't diss the soil up as much it did some places but um, the soil's never been worked so it didn't do it a whole lot this has been planted and uh, it rained here the past two days and it's only been planted for three or four days I think and we've already got some pretty good germination going on um, this is the Deer Creek Seed All Season Blend. It has um, winter peas, rye, turnips, all kinds of stuff. And um, it's really meant for a lot of biomass as well as feeding the deer and their young ones throughout the summer. So hopefully as the summer goes on we'll give you all updates on this uh, food plot. We're going to go check the other one out as well. And I'll show you it. It's totally different compared to this one. This one, what we did was I ran through here with the Groundhog Max. Um, it laid over a lot of grass, killed a lot of grass, turned up a little soil. It's um, it's a little loose, but it's still pretty hard soil. Um, and then came in here with some herbicide and killed all the weeds and grass what was left and um, then I seeded it with on the back of the four wheeler just have a pull behind the spreader and then I wish I had my roller finished that'll be a future video you all seen me make it and fill with concrete and I still have to finish it um, but I don't have it done yet, so not all the seeds got a perfect seed to soil contact. So what I did was I took some fence post, these actually that I have marked off here, and just hooked it up to the back of the four wheeler and dragged it behind to kind of cover up the seeds. It actually seemed to do better than nothing. So um, I'll show you here on the GoPro real quick as I walk around, and I'll show you some of the seed germination we got going on, and then we'll move on to the next plot. Here's the food plot here. It's maybe like 0.1 of an acre, I think is what I measured as as. Um, so with the no-till method, you need to either reseed or seed heavily and probably like two times as much as you normally would because obviously there's not going to be as well of the germination, but it's better for the soil and your plants will do better in the long run. But as you can see, I seeded it, and then I came back through here, and then, like there's this pea still laying on top, and some of the birds have come and get them up and stuff like that. But um, you can see here, this guy, this is all buckwheat here. There's two of them there. There's one here, one here. So we got some pretty good germination. Uh, there's a pea. Here's another pea. So I walked around the plot to check it all out, and uh, it's kind of like that throughout the whole thing. So I think dragging it made a big difference, and then doing it right before it rained. So we're going to go check out the other plot, and we'll get back to you guys. This is the other food plot. We got, actually got our cell cam on this, and we got a trophy rock here in the middle. We've actually had a few deer here. Um, I've had at least three pictures of deer in the past three days that I've had it out so a deer a day I guess ain't bad <laughs> but uh, so with this plot 
Um, we had to remove a few saplings, nothing real major, but had to remove, remove a few saplings and uh, we sprayed this plot. And this was something I kind of wanted to do a test on between the both of these two. And it was also a matter of time that I had to. But I had already dissed that one up a little bit. And I had done more physical work to the dirt with that one to provide more seed to soil contact. Considering I didn't have my roller to push the seed into the ground, that's what I had to work with. So with this one, where I didn't till it, I only sprayed it. I should have seeded it before I sprayed because the grass was already somewhat laid down. So not all the seed got to the soil and I think a lot of it got picked off um, around the edges there's a little bit and on that far end where it wasn't quite as thick it seemed to uh, take off a little better better but nothing like this plot down here and uh, they're just a little ways away from each other down the hill so that's a good test we'll get to see it as it goes through the summer um, it'll definitely grow some I seen a few peas and a little bit of buckwheat growing, but uh, not over the entire thing. And I think that's the main th thing that happened was the grass was already on the ground and the seed didn't fully get into it. And that's all I did. So just a little bit more work to allow that seed to hit the soil. Um, this will show you how much just a little bit more work can make a difference and provide you with a better food plot um, for future one of these years I'd like to get a Genesis no-till drill um, or just be able to fully have a clockwork uh, food plot system but I'll bring you around and show you guys food plot and um, how it didn't perform as great but we still have fall to plant this was just kind of a test as it was my first time planting uh, also sunlight's a big deal with plants when you're spraying um, a lot of these plants here there's a few little patches where the trees that were here and the weeds are still alive and I think that mainly has to do with the glyphosate kills the weeds that are doing a lot of photosynthesis. And if they're not doing that and they're in the shade, they're not you're not gonna get as good of a kill. And there's a patch right in front of here, the camera. There's a patch off to my right, and then there's uh, two more patches. And they're not very big, and I think they may slowly die off, but um, it definitely didn't kill them like it did this so I'll take you all around and show you and um, I'll also post the pictures we've gotten so far on this plot of the deer um, I've seen deer tracks in both of them so I wanted to show you guys real quick with the big camera on this one see all this dead thatch and everything that I sprayed I think that was the issue was I sprayed before I seeded and I also did reseed this one. I overseeded it um, about a day after. And you can see some of these. Um, like there's a pea right there. They just didn't get to the soil. That's just what it was. Um, can't really do a whole lot about it. I kind of want to see how it does because for the average person just maybe going out to a field with no tools or nothing there might be a bunch of junk on the ground you know so i want to see how it does and uh if it doesn't do good which i imagine it's not going to do as good um we'll definitely do a little more this coming uh season during the fall but like you can see here Right there, the little one, and uh, I've seen a few peas, but even just taking like 
something just to rake the ground, just to cover it up. It'll help that seed germinate, and the root, it'll, the seed will reach the soil as long as it's covered up. But these were not really at all. Look, here's one. There's a pea. It's got a little bud on it. So there, there will be a little bit, but the deer will probably browse it all off before we really get to see any thing actually happen to it and I also wanted to test out I did not put anything in the soil no lime no nothing because I want to see how the plants do um, I did take a soil sample we're gonna turn that in but I didn't want to put much money into this I just want to test the Deer Creek seed out thanks again to Deer Creek seed for sending me all this amazing seed this uh, fall you all have to stay tuned to what we plant then. I'm not going to say where we're going to plant, but um, we also have a few more plots that we might plant this fall on another piece of property. It's a 40 acre parcel. Um, this one's just right behind my house, so it's pretty easy. Uh, we did a lot of work over the winter cutting down the trees and things, so hopefully we end up getting to do that. It's kind of a far drive, so I don't know how much work we'll get to do but it may be a slow progress on that one but hope you all enjoyed this video of uh this summer's food plot stay up to date with all of it and uh we'll try to keep you all tuned in to everything as we go and uh best of my ability and uh make sure to enjoy every day enjoy god's creation and we see you on the next one